Chaggers, legends, a very good morning to you wherever you are on planet Earth. I'm not in the same setup today. I'm on the move, so I've had to do it remotely, all right? Champions League, game week three, predictions. It's going to be a bell to me. See, kicking us off, Galatasaray versus Bayern Munich. Listen, I don't watch Turkish football. I don't follow Turkish football. Galatasaray haven't lost a competitive match since April. Since April. Fresh off the back of beating Manchester United a couple of weeks ago at Old Trafford. They will be up for it, mate. Do you know what? Could they be the little surprise package in the Champions League this year? I'm fully invested that they'll be up for it when they host Bayern Munich tonight. We'll make that atmosphere in Istanbul so, so terrifying for the Bayern Munich fans and also the players as well. They'll be up for it. As always, Bayern Munich are unbeaten in the Bundesliga. No shock there. But Galatasaray... I firmly believe that they can get something from this, mate. That's why I have predicted Galatasaray 2, Bayern Munich 2, right straight up into the next game, Inter Milan versus Salzburg. Inter are dominating this area along with AC Milan and also rivals Juventus. A draw and a win in their opening two Champions League matches so far. Will they get another one tomorrow night? Will they get another one? You bet you they will. Inter Milan will win 2-0 at the San Siro. Benfica versus Real Sociedad. Both teams, uh, one loss in their first five matches in all competitions this season. Benfica got through to the latter stages of the competition last year. They do have threats within this team. That's why I'm back in Benfica to win 2-1. Don't know where my screen's zoomed in so much. Braga versus Real Madrid. Madrid dropped points at the weekend against Sevilla. I saw some matey boy have an acker on like Paddy Power put a fiver on there. It was like a 20 fold and it re returned something like 92,000 pounds. 92 grand. And the only reason it didn't come in is because Real Madrid drew to Sevilla. Come on, Paddy Power man. Give that guy a payout of some sort. Give him a grand this is the least that you could do. What's a grand to Paddy Power? I see Braga being a complete walk in the park for Carlo Ancelotti's men and Jude Bellingham as well. Who will score? Who I do believe is still fit. Braga unbeaten in the last five matches in all competitions. But it does not matter. They're playing a team that is just unstoppable in European football. And I, I, I firmly believe they had a bit of a hiccup last year. What, did they get to the quarterfinals of the Champions League? It was pathetic from Real Madrid. It really was getting knocked out by. Um, they get knocked out by. Yeah, they got knocked out. They got embarrassed by Manchester City, I believe. Am I right? Am I right? Let's just let's just fact check that. Man City Champions League. Or was it? No, they they they, they had Liverpool in the groups. Twenty twenty two, twenty twenty. I am certain they got embarrassed by Manchester City. Internet's not working anyway. It just, just doesn't doesn't really matter, does it? I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm right. I know I'm right. If I'm not right, batter me in the comments. Braga will lose three 0 to Real Madrid. Lens versus PSV. What have we got to say about Lens versus PSV? Absolutely nothing. Lens will win one 0 We'll probably say that, and PSV probably haven't like lost in about like two years or something like that. Apps. Oh, you've got zero ball knowledge, mate. Zero ball knowledge. Man United versus Copenhagen. Man United picked up a big, big 2-1 win over Sheffield United after going a goal down. It wasn't massively convincing. Marcus Rashford going missing again. I thought this would be him turning up the heat after he scored that brilliant goal for England against Italy last week. But it's just not the case, really. Harry Maguire... Had a solid game for the Red Devils. Darlow getting on the score sheet as well. It's just a bit scary that your right back has to get you out of trouble. Has to get you out of trouble at Bramwell Lane so you can pick up you can pick up three points away from home. Lost to Galatasaray at Old Trafford about three weeks ago now, which was a complete and utter embarrassment. They need to up their game massively. That's why I'm going for a Manchester United 2-0 victory over. FC Copenhagen, Sevilla versus Arsenal. Arsenal were, in my opinion, unlucky against Chelsea on Saturday evening. Yeah, the first half, they didn't really get going. They didn't really get going until about the 75th, 77th minute. David Raya could be in danger of losing his spot. They need to sort out this goalkeeper situation. There's too much pressure on both goalkeepers at the moment. David, hey, this, who, who is Mikel Arteta's number one? Is it David Raya? Or 
Is it Aaron Ramsdale? Mikel Arteta has some big decisions to make. Obviously, Ramsdale was left out of the squad on um, Saturday due to personal reasons. Raya came in, was off his line for the Mudrick goal. And David Raya, that's just classic him. He's always off his line so, so far. But some of his passing at the back is just so shaky. We saw the same against Manchester City a couple of weeks ago as well, where he got let off a few times when it was uh, Julian Alvarez running in and it just cannoned off his leg when David Raya tried to clear it. It's just a bit too scatty for my liking. I'm saying this like I'm an Arsenal fan. I'm not. I'm just a lover of the game. You know what I mean? The Gunners will need to bounce back with a win. And I think that they will. I think they will. I think their heads might have dropped a little bit from Chelsea. William Saliba, that handball, I think, was so unjust. It, like His body, he can't help that his arm is in an unnatural position when he's going for a header. It's absolutely ridiculous. Sevilla 1, Arsenal 3 tomorrow night. The final one of the Tuesday games, Union Berlin versus Napoli. Union Berlin are eight games without a win in all competitions. That is pathetic. That's absolutely pathetic. That is relegation fodder. That is not a team that should be playing football in the Champions League. I'm sorry if that's disrespectful, but come on, mate. That's actually spot on. It's true. Like a team of that. A team of that, I wouldn't even say ilk, because did, does Union of Berlin have that much ilk? But a team that's going to be playing in the Champions League group stages needs to be putting up a good fight in Europe, if that's where they want to be. And, and, and they've got to take this competition seriously. Right, my internet's finally come up. Man City versus Real Madrid 2023. Yeah, mate. Yeah, semi-finals, of course. I'm an absolute... Yeah, I knew that. 4-0. Legend. Yeah. Wednesday then, right, let's fight through the rest of these. Barcelona versus Shakhtar. Barca unbeaten in their opening matches of the Champions League so far. Shakhtar one loss in their last five. Lewandowski could return. Barcelona did win 1-0 last night as well. Lewandowski returning would be huge, but I mean, not, no disrespect, they're only playing Shakhtar, Barcelona will win 2-0. Feyenoord versus Lazio, I'm going for a 1-0. Antwerp versus Porto, I'm going for 2-0, Porto away win. Celtic versus Atletico Madrid, and this is a real tough one because there is no way that, it's not a tough one because it's so easy to tell, there is no way on planet Earth that Celtic are getting a point. I'm, I'm really, really sorry. They... They're just not up for a good fight in the Champions League. And I feel bad for them. I really do. I Do you know what? Celtic are the sort of standard. It's not disrespectful because I just think it's true. The standard of Celtic is the Europa Conference League. And I would love actually Celtic. They're never going to be in it because they're always going to win the SPFL, them and Rangers. But them being in the Europa Conference League would be sensational. They'll probably actually win it and bring a European trophy to Parkhead, which neutrals of the game would actually love to see. I'd love to see that. I'd love to see Celtic and their fans go on a nice little journey in Europe. It's just, why wouldn't you want to see that? I've got some of the best fans in the world. Atletico unbeaten in their last six matches, and it will go to seven because Atletico will win 3-0 at Parkhead on Wednesday night. Right, Newcastle versus Borussia Dortmund. This is the one that I am so excited for this week. I think Tuesday's games are actually a bit dead. Whereas Wednesday, this is where the heat starts to get cranked up a little bit. St. James's Park will be rocking, rocking, rocking once again for Newcastle versus Borussia Dortmund, just like against PSG. Every time that Newcastle touch the ball, every time that Newcastle make a challenge, that crowd is going to be right there behind them. Newcastle are on fire at the moment. They have so many top talents. Jacob Murphy, Longstaff, Trippier, Wilson, Gordon are all unplayable at the moment. And it's actually, I'm, I'm going to do a separate video on this. I actually feel sorry for the likes of Jacob Murphy, Longstaff, Trippier, and uh, Gordon as, well, no, I don't feel sorry for Trippier because he's going to get in the England squad, but the players that I mentioned before that, Murphy, um, Longstaff, and um, Anthony Gordon as well. Those guys are playing unbelievable football this season. Incredible football this season. And it's so unfortunate they probably won't get a sniff. They probably won't get a sniff. If we're going off form, Anthony Gordon should probably be on left wing over Marcus Rashford if we're going off form. But listen, Gareth Southgate has his favourites and he has his loyalty. In fact, the whole squad is on fire at Newcastle at the moment. Dortmund known for their atmosphere, but 
the fans and the players are going to be stepping into a completely different atmosphere on Wednesday night. I'll tell you that for sure. Only conceded two goals in their last six Premier League matches, Newcastle. It will be hard for Dortmund to break them down. Nick Pope obviously sending a huge message to England manager Gareth Southgate as well because he's a top keeper, mate. He really is. I know he can't really play up from the back, but shot stopping wise and reflexes, he's right up there with the very best, in my opinion. PSG versus AC Milan. Close encounter this one, mate. Uh, PSG will be wanting to right their wrongs after that embarrassing loss to Newcastle and bounce back with a win. A team of PSG's calibre, and we all know it, it's, it's not even the elephant in the room. They're a bit of an embarrassment in European football. A team of their standard and a team of their ilk should be winning. The, it should be getting to the final or even the semi-final of the Champions League every single year. You look at Mbappe, man. Mbappe, who is probably going to be going to Real Madrid and attacking, in an attacking sense of uh, Kylian Mbappe and Usman Dembele. Look at the state of those wingers, mate. Those are two wingers that should be guiding you to the Champions League semi-finals. Of course, that it's only uh, Dembele's first season at PSG, but still, you look at the team all over the pitch, mate. That like you got Hernandez for God's sake. He's one of the best fullbacks on planet Earth. PSG needs to be getting into the last stages of the competition, but you can probably predict them to go out in the last 16, something ridiculous like that. Third in Ligue 1 at the moment, obviously, it's been quite a tough start to the season from losing to Newcastle, Clement Foot, uh, nil nil beat Strasbourg at the weekend. Absolutely fantastic. I think Strasbourg are actually really easy to beat. Never mind. But a team of, I'm just looking at their squad now. Like, Gonzalo Ramos, yeah, Marquinhos still there, Donnarumma in net as well. This is a team that should be dominating European football, yet it's just not clicking. It's not. Where's it all going wrong? Tell me that. Tell me. Tell me right now. Uh, for the final two games of the Champions League as well, RB Leipzig versus Red Star Belgrade. Uh, I'm going for a one all and Young Boys versus Manchester City, a 4-0 away, away win for Pep Guardiola's men. Please do some massive solid. Uh, let me know your predictions in the comment section just down below. Drop us a like if you loved the video. I loved recording it. I hope you liked watching it. And also, 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 also subscribe as well because it helps the channel out massively and you'll be able to see much more brilliant content like this.